Your short film, The Water Murmurs, won the award for the best short film at the Cannes Film Festival. Can you talk me through your inspiration behind the film? Um, actually, uh, before this short film, I haven't been able to shoot any of my original content for about two years uh, due to the pandemic or due to the lack of trust, trust for uh, young filmmakers in the industry. Um, but in the end, I, I was suffering from a lot of self-doubt um, and questioning myself and about the values and uh, the purpose of my career, what I'm doing, a lot of that kind of question. Um, and uh, eventually, um, I came up with this idea of creating a surreal setting to talk about the emotions and the thoughts of um, the current youth, um, particularly me. <laughs> there are a lot of my personal emotions in this short film. So um, in a nutshell, is more about um, how do you perceive yourself uh, and the world around you during uh, seemingly tragic times. How does it feel to be a Cannes award-winning director at such a young age? It's such a surprise and an honor. Uh, it really offered me great confidence in myself. You know, actually when I heard the uh, nomination, I still questioned myself whether I deserve even just a nomination. So when I went to Cannes, I really enjoyed talking with people, like what they see in my film. And I heard words like poetic, like peace, like past, future, and uh, present. Those are the topics that I really want to convey in my film. And that, that's when actually I kind of uh, got regained the confidence in myself because I know my audience is really in a conversation with me. They see what I intended to show and that makes me feel like my work is valuable and uh, what I'm doing is actually something pretty important. A lot of protagonists in your film are women, particularly from minority groups. What drives you to put the spotlight on Asian women and portray their stories? I guess because I'm an Asian woman. <laughs> uh, like one principle that I have for all the stories that I create is to be sincere uh, and never um, portray um, a group that you are not familiar with. It's really important to um, portray people you can really emphasize with and you really know their stories and you can um, know their struggle and know how they come along this, this way. Um, and uh, every protagonist in my films has a part of me. They're not exactly me, but they, ha they bear some part of me, either my emotion or my experience or my thoughts, my ideas, my perspectives. So I guess that's why they are always um, Asian women or women in my films. You were born at 1995. Do you think you have something in common with Gen Zetter's directors? The individuality is it's probably something that's evident um, in our generation. Like the, the path that each one has gone through is so different um, and that made us um, we are a generation but we are so different from each other um, like the topics we focus on the techniques we use uh, the visual style it's so different um, but I think that's that's interesting as well because uh, the world now is more diversified uh, and each director has his or her own perspective I think it's, it's good for the for the creation of various different kinds of films